The word dope has multiple meanings, and at the center of it is all of them, you know, from dope meaning cool, to dope meaning stupid, to dope being an illicit drug. <laughs> and so every, every and, but the idea was really that in the way that that word and many words have multiple meanings, the, these kids um, have, have multiple layers, and, and so many times we judge people on just one thing, and that's based on how they look. And so, you know, these kids and, and the film was really about challenging that. Malcolm. You know, Malcolm is, uh, he, he speaks for me with my voice. And so that was the character most, that was based mostly on me. And so, uh, yeah, Malcolm is the one that, that really, I think, reflects me and my point of view. Uh, really just talking to Rick um, about the character. The character is really based around Rick as a person. Um, how he moves and everything, but getting into the mind frame of it, I was just listening to 90s music, watching 90s movies, getting into that classic spirit, the golden ages of hip hop, accepting it and learning and applying that to my character. Definitely. I've been in music before acting, so, you know, yeah, since I was 12. I really like, um, I really like that if your girl only knew. You know that, uh, I'm, I'm definitely an Sure, yeah, I'm dead. But I do like, who the is this? Paging me at 546 in the morning. Crack of dawn and now I'm young. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, right now I'm working on my Netflix series with Baz Luhrmann called The Get Down. Um, it captures the 70s, or the origins of hip hop. Uh, when disco was really popular. I have my project, music project, 30058 coming out. That's my get ready. This is where I'm from. 30058 being my zip code in Atlanta where I grew up. So it's not the album, this is like, get ready for the album. It sounds dope, you know what I'm saying? It's like almost my way of putting out a mixtape, but I'm calling it a soundtrack. Um, I prepared for her through my friends, my best friends actually. Um, my, my roommate, Kofi, he's a guy. <laughs> um, he's my best friend, he's like family. And so I know him pretty well, so I kind of use his gestures and how he... Um, the words he would put emphasis on as to how she spoke and he also kind of grew up in her area a little bit so she was he was an influence and then my other best friend Emerald is from Gardena which is also around the same area and she was an influence because she's kind of like that tomboy has that like hood vibe so I use that for Diggy's essence yeah um, working with Rick and Fro it was incredible we spent every waking moment with Rick and with the boys. If I wasn't with Rick, I was with the boys, hanging out, just really getting to know each other and vibe and make this authentic film because in order to make, you know, this movie and make these political statements, we really have to understand each other and get where each other's coming from. So it was a really great collaborative ex experience. The same with Pharrell in the studio. He would sit down, talk to us. We talked about a multitude of things and then randomly he'd be like, hold on and leave, go write a verse and come back and we record it. It was really just this awesome family vibe with everyone from the crew to our background. It, it was amazing. I mean, Rick from day one has been super cool. You know, I read the script and it was dope. And uh, then, uh, you know, Rick said that we could meet up for breakfast and kind of just have a meeting. And yeah, it's just been so cool. And it's really just his brainchild. So uh, that's been awesome. And then, of course, having the names like Pharrell and and Puff Daddy, P. Diddy Combs, and Forrest Whitaker attached to the project, it really was like a no-brainer, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, it was a lot of me. I think the thing that really was difficult was parting ways with my mustache for the film. That was, when they told me I had to do that, I was like, oh boy, there we go. I'm going to hear it from Rotten Tomatoes. Holy smokes. But so far, so good. You know, I, I, I feel like I identify with our, our lead characters. I, I, I didn't consider myself a nerd, but I definitely, like, surrounded myself with, like, some weird friends. But we didn't really listen to what people said about us, you know? We just kind of did what we did. We would be filming, like, sketches on the weekend. And, of course, everybody's like, what are you doing that for? But, you know, it all, it all paid off in the end. Well, when I read the script, I fell in love with it. And, you know... When I found out who was involved, I, I had to, like, just be a part of this film. And um, I um, worked really hard when my coach went in the audition, and then I got a phone call to just be on set. And, yeah, it was actually, it's been it's such a great journey for me and experience. <laughs> well, how did I prepare? I work with my acting coach, so we worked on just, like, just me being comfortable and um, in front of the camera first, and then I went online, and then I just did a little research. And yeah, and then I just went on set to try not to overthink things and just kind of did it. 
I can I can say that you know the interest in music, you know, have a dad who's powerful, you know. So I kind of like settled that in my character. But then I had to you know actually go in my real life and find friends of mine who act hard sometimes when it's unnecessary and I know some real gangsters too who you know put on a fight you know so I had to kind of mesh the two you know what I mean and kind of like you know stir that up and then that's how I made Jalil and right now I'm officially you know finishing my album as well. I got to meet Pharrell, I got to hang out with Rick, me and Rick are real cool, I didn't get to meet Forrest yet which I want to um, but yeah working with them is crazy man you know like these are people I grew up watching and I'm you know I'm finally in a situation where I can be able to work with them so it's a, it's a beautiful thing uh, right now I got a movie called Snowden coming out um, that I'm doing with Oliver Stone that'll be out later this year I play a dude that works in the NSA uh, so it's kind of far away from a blood but you know um, I actually got this film from him getting this role from him um, they was looking for somebody to play my character Fidel and uh, he just thought I'd be such the perfect person. I auditioned and I got the role. Oh man, really just being from where I'm from, everything that I experienced, everything that I went through, my family went through, I'm just putting all that into it. I'm here to support Dope and my really good friend from middle school, Shamik Moore. Um, yeah, we totally support each other through this entertainment, um, you know, journey. So it's really cool to see him on a big screen. And um, also Quincy, yeah, yeah. Um, Tiana Brown, she's actually a very lady. courageous pop star, I should say, <laughs> say, say the least. Um, she's um, a go-getter, and that's, that's, that's what I respect about her, even though she dabbles in a little bit of trouble. Um, she just wants, you know, the fame and, and the fortune, so yeah. Um, I'm doing season two, obviously. <laughs> Tiana, go Tiana. And um, some of my personal music from Soraya, so that's going to be available soon, so I can't wait. Well, music is so important in this movie, okay, and so we uh, awarded the cast, you know, uh, a set of monster headphones so they can hear what this movie is about, because these are unbelievable. The brand new, this is DNA 2.0, and you know what, I want to make sure that all the fans hear the music with the impact, with the dynamics, with the clarity, so that's my... Uh, uh, mission in life is to bring that to consumers and hopefully this movie will help do it. Awesome. So what makes you dope? What, what makes me dope? My, uh, well, I am dope because first of all I got the, the dope segue. <laughs> it is the uh, dope way to travel. And uh, no, but it, it's dope because you know I, I combine my uh, passions as an engineer and a musician. Uh, and do some really cool things with some very cool people, you know, so all my uh, heroes and all my friends are just fantastic. That's what's dope.